Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct the dodecahedron, which is the fifth platonic solid. To begin, we start with a cube, and we're going to focus on one of the faces. We're going to bisect the sides of the square, and by connecting the midpoints, you get the center of the square. We're going to find the midpoint of the side of a smaller square, and draw a line from this point to the midpoint of the larger square. We'll use this line as the radius to create a circle, and we'll create another circle with this line segment as the radius. Now we have these two important intersection points. We'll call these line segments A and B. And what we did is we took these lines and cut them in the extreme and mean ratio, which translates to taking the golden ratio. So let's continue. We'll construct two lines perpendicular to the square plane intersecting at these two points. And we'll construct a circle that cuts the perpendicular line with a radius equal to A. To be clear, the circle cuts the perpendicular line at two points. We want the point that is outside the cube. And we'll also cut the other perpendicular line with a radius equal to A. As you can see, the golden ratio is used to determine the location of the last two points we just created. Let's call these the golden ratio points. So what we're going to do is find the golden ratio points for every side of the cube by using the previous steps. Let's look at the bottom side of the cube and repeat the construction. Now that we have the golden ratio points of the bottom side, we can now build the first pentagon face of the dodecahedron. We'll use these three points and these two corners of the cube to construct the first pentagon face. To complete the rest of the dodecahedron, we need to find the golden ratio points of the rest of the sides of the cube. So let's continue. We can reuse these perpendicular lines to find the golden ratio points of the top face. And we can take this shortcut again by reusing these perpendicular lines for the side face. Now we just need the golden ratio points for the last two sides of the cube. And we'll go ahead and construct them at the same time. So we have the golden ratio points on all sides of the cube. We can now complete the dodecahedron. As we're completing this, you can see that the pentagon faces consist of two cube vertices and three golden ratio points. And once completed, you can see that the cube is inscribed inside the dodecahedron. And this is how Euclid constructed the dodecahedron more than 2,000 years ago. As I'm studying these shapes, I also like to construct them in the real world so that I have something to look at. And you can also build your own set. My store currently has a large and small platonic solids geometry set. You can help the channel by buying from the online store, and also by liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. As always, thank you for watching.